So renal cell carcinoma is a, uh, a cancer that is primarily treated with oral tyrosine kinase inhibitors that are anti-angiogenic in effect. The standard treatments have been sunitinib first line and exitinib as a second line tyrosine kinase inhibitor. Recently, checkpoint inhibitor therapies have been improved, including nivolumab in second line therapy. And so the, the backbone of kidney cancer therapy uh, consists of those oral tyrosine kinase inhibitors or a checkpoint inhibitor as a single agent. There's a strong rationale for combining the VEGF inhibitors with the checkpoint inhibitors. For the most part, the VEGF therapies, in, in addition to, to blocking angiogenesis, they, they prime the tumor and the blood vessels for the immune medication so they can help immune response. In an early single arm study, there was a, a high response rate with Evelumab plus Exitinib of nearly 60%. So based on that uncontrolled single arm study, we did a large phase three trial, the Javelin 101, comparing Evelumab plus Exitinib to Sunitinib in first line treatment for advanced RCC. The primary endpoint of the trial was to assess progression-free survival in the two patients with tumors pdl one positive, as well as overall survival in the same group. There were two co-primary endpoints. But the trial was also powered to show a benefit for each of those in all comers, regardless of pdl one status. And so between March of 2016 and December 2017, we enrolled nearly 890 patients on that trial. 63% of those patients were PDL1 positive, and the remainder were PDL1 negative or indeterminate. In a phase three trial uh, such as the Javelin 101, interim analysis are built in to look for a big benefit to see if it crosses the statistical boundary. And at the first interim analysis, the co-primary endpoint of progression-free survival was met. There was a longer progression-free survival in patients treated with Evelumab plus Exitinib compared to Sunitinib in the pdl one positive group. We also saw a benefit in the overall population as well, and in addition, a doubling of the objective response rate with the combination compared to Sunitinib. The safety profile for the combination was uh, favorable as well, with only about 30% of patients having a, an adverse event that was felt to be immune related to the Evolumab, and only about 10% of patients requiring steroids for the management of that immune related adverse event. The overall survival analysis, which was a co-primary endpoint, however, is immature. Uh, there was a relatively few number of deaths on the study, and so for that important co-primary and key endpoint, we need further follow-up to assess whether the benefit in progression-free survival transfers into an overall survival benefit as well. The conclusions of the study were that this trial met its primary endpoint of progression-free survival showing improvement in progression-free survival for Evelumab plus Exitinib over Sunitinib in both the pdl one positive and the pdl negative group. We also have different risk groups that we assess favorable and intermediate and poor based on the patient demographics and the benefit extended across all those risk groups. The overall survival outcome results are immature. Uh, we can't make a conclusion about overall survival, so we need to wait longer for more deaths to occur before we can better assess that. The safety profile was favorable and based on the robust efficacy that we saw, we feel that the Evolumab plus Exitinib should be considered as a first line option for patients with advanced renal cell carcinoma.